Crimea River has this really distinctive chromatic line. That's what makes this song. It's very similar to the James Bond theme, but it just keeps going up in this case. So C minor, C minor sharp five, C minor six, C minor seven. I'm gonna play my rootless voicing up here. I'm actually going to play root and fifth, partly to make it more bassy, but also because I want the chromatic line to be separated. I'm not gonna play the chromatic line up here. I'm gonna do that. Then we have a 251 in E flat major. Lots of voicing patterns we could use. We could do simple literal voicings. Or we could do shells. Root 7 third. That's a shell, root 7 third. Or we could try and play an upper structure on the dominant seven chord. And playing G flat major triad in inversion because the top note is B flat. Take this down an octave. Could play that. Ending on a shell. I think I'm going to play more of a rootless voicing. I'm actually going to leave out the E flat though because it's a bit muddy. I think this is all that's needed, ninth, third, fifth. I'm going to play this. There's lots of options. We could do this. Now next we have a 2, 5, D half diminished and G7. That's a 2, 5 in C minor. It's a half diminished two chord. However, the melody plays this pattern. It goes starting note, down a half step and back. Whenever I see that sort of shape where the melody goes a note away and then comes back, I like to use side slipping. So side slipping is where you take the chord voicing that you have on the first chord and you move the chord voicing with it, like this. So we have an E flat major seven chord. I'd like to just play an open chord voicing, root, fifth, seventh, third, and just shift it down to D major seven, and back. Next we have a G minor seven. Now I'd actually like to play the Kenny Barron voicing here. Stack of fifths in the left hand, find the chord's third, it's a minor third, and another stack of fifths. So. Now we have a C dominant seven chord. I'm going to look to play an upper structure for the vast majority of dominant seven chords. So I'm actually going to play A flat major, but I'll play it like this. In inversion, E flat, A flat, C, but I'll just hold off on the C because the melody starts on D flat and then comes down, so. But in my brain I'm thinking, upper structure with A flat major. So we have side slipping going to Kenny Barron, going to an upper structure. Then we have an F dominant seven. Now we've just had a complicated section, so I'm not really looking to do more upper structures. We also want some simple sections, so maybe I'll just play a shell voicing here. That's fine with me. Becomes an F minus seven. Let's just go with a shell. Root seven third. And I'm fine with that.
Now, if you want to learn more jazz piano chord voicings, I've actually written a free ebook for you. It's called The Chord Voicing Guide. You can download it for free at the link below.